A blessed day to all of you, dear brothers and sisters who are here, and also those who are joining us through this live stream in other parts of the world. The Church rejoices today with the celebration of this very popular saint in the Roman Church. I remember when I was in Rome how the, the festivity of this saint, Saint Lawrence, no, of course, we have uh, St. Peter, St. Paul, but after them, we have St. Lawrence, the deacon. And so many uh, stories, legends uh, about uh, St. Lawrence. Uh, one of them was the famous, uh, he was uh, captured together with the Pope, that time Pope Sixtus II, and uh, the Pope was killed right away, but knowing that uh, Lawrence was the treasurer in charge of the goods of the, of the church, so they uh, postponed his uh, martyrdom, his, and uh, they wanted to confiscate the goods of, of the church. And within three, four days, he distributed the goods of the, the church to the poor of Rome so that when he was uh, asked to present and uh, give the riches supposed to be goods of the church, he said he declared, gathering the poor of Rome, these are the riches of the church. And he was martyred on uh, uh, this date according to the uh, tradition of the church. He was a, born in Spain, the modern Spain, part of uh, what we call Valencia. No? And uh, he met there in Saragossa, part of the uh, Roman Empire that time, was uh, where he met the future Pope, Pope Sixtus II, was a good uh, teacher of theology and both of them left uh, Spain and uh, went to uh, Rome where uh, he was, uh, Sixtus was uh, elected Pope and he ordained him as deacon of uh, the Roman church there in uh, among the seven famous deacons of, uh, of Rome. And uh, we see here the, uh, the, his service to the church now as a, uh, as a deacon. Mainly the, uh, the idea of deacon, the diaconate, as connected with service now and uh, they have a place in the uh, in the liturgy for example when the deacon is present he reads the gospel and uh, reads for example what our lectors are doing now the prayers of the faithful etc as is the presider but a greater role of deacons in the tradition of the church aside from the liturgical functions is the service of charity as we can also see in the in in the example of the deacons in the new testament in of the early church now in charge of the care of uh, the widows and the orphans in the as we find in the Acts of the Apostles. So this tradition of service now, of the church, not only in the liturgical setting, but in the wider uh, space of charity and other roles in the community. That's why with the uh, Vatican II, they have restored this service of diaconate what we call now a permanent diaconate 
Unfortunately, we do not still have in the Philippines this permanent diaconate, but in other places like Argentina, where I was, no, they have the permanent deacons. These are married men, professionals, after undergoing formation, discernment, they are installed permanent deacons of the church. And uh, do many good service to the church. Like, for example, in the community, the deacon, no, where I was as at the, uh, the place where I was assigned, no, they are permanent there. They know they better than the priest, like us missionaries who come and go. And they are in charge of the the uh, the needs many ministries of the church there and uh, reflecting precisely the the idea the ministry of deacons as lived by this uh, great saint saint lawrence the uh, readings today capture or express Precisely the example, the life and example of Lawrence, who served generously the church. Generosity that led him even to give his very life for Christ. He who so sparingly gathers sparingly, it says but in the first reading, but he who gives generously will reap generously uh, with so much fruit and this is the the idea the the ideal of christian service our vocation as christians that god has given us so much talent time opportunities etc and he wants us also to put this at the service of his church. But even in ordinary commitments that we have, when one gives generously <clears throat> to his or her work or, her, or his or her engagement in whatever, we know that they give these things, give much fruit we ask then the lord that uh, we may grow in this aspect of generosity in our service to god through our brothers and sisters in the church or outside the church or in the government in the community wherever we are may our performance of our commitment be characterized by this generosity as exemplified by this great saint, St. Lawrence.